the problem today is that PGP never got fully accepted. It never really took off. People didn't see what cypherpunks from the 80s were talking about, which is that we're going to live in a panopticon where everything you do and say is recorded without even your knowledge and consent at times. And the problem is you'll forget about it. And then one day you'll wake up and there's so much on you and everything you're about to do, everything you like, everything you want to do, you don't know how that can be used against you. And then all of a sudden it's like, there's an election that happens and people make the claim, oh, Facebook is selling data about people's interests and that skewed the election. Yeah, absolutely. That could have skewed the election. Your data can skew so many things, you know, like um, how soon before you know, uh, people can buy profiles of each other. Like for example, for the concept of dating, where the fact that you had three girlfriends and, you know, you know, and how long you were with them is just publicly available information that will be sold to women that want to see if they want to date you, for example. Um, some people might say, oh, that's kind of an interesting or cool, uh, way to live. But, um, you know, and that might be like kind of a harmless, maybe even fun, uh, you know, thing for dating, but it really opens the door to totalitarian governments.